Hey, Mike. Um, I just wanted to ask about, you know, how sort of precious these opportunities are for you through the, you know, your career in the league. You know, you only get so many chances and just how, from where you're sitting, what this opportunity you're about to embark on means to you. Uh, yeah, it's, it means everything. I think it's, uh, you know, I've talked about it before. It's, it's special to play in the playoffs. And, um, you know, you look back over the course of, of your career and, like you said, the chances don't come on along, you know, every year it seems like. So when you do get an opportunity to play in, in the, you know, the most important time of the year, it's, it's something that you, you definitely want to take advantage of and be playing your, your best hockey. You told us, I don't know if it was last week, but, you know, you sort of admitted that that layoff last year, maybe, you know, that it affected you and didn't handle it maybe the way you, you, you would have liked. Or Do you, like, can you compare the way you feel right now about your game, the control that you have, just where you're at right now compared to, you know, this time last year or, or when you were heading into the plan? I mean, everyone keeps bringing up the bubble, but I played one game. <laughs> so I, I don't think it... Uh, <laughs> I mean, you look, uh, you look over the course of my career and what I've done in the playoffs, and then everyone wants to talk about the one game I played in the bubble last year was, you know, a unique situation where I left my family behind, not sure how long I was going to be away from them, and that was the first time for that happening. And then, you know, obviously the whole bubble situation and, and this and that. So I think it's, uh, to be honest, I, you know, I'm, I'm not concerned on how this is going to go. I, I'm not... Uh, comparing it at all to, to last year's situation. Um, you know, you, last year was a layoff and then we got back and it was just a unique situation. And yeah, like I said, probably one that I didn't handle very well, but um, you learn from those, you know, situations over the course of your career and you want to get better because of it and feel like our team and myself is in a lot better place than we were, you know, going into the bubble. So, um, you know, it's a new year and, and uh, new playoff season and, Excited about the opportunity. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Mike, once the playoffs begin, there's always the focus on the two goaltenders. Does a, a goaltender on one team feel he has to outplay the goaltender on the other team? No, I don't think you look at it like that. Obviously, it, it looks after itself, but I think um, you just want to do whatever you can. You're focused on yourself and, and your group on this side. and. And, you know, just making, just making saves at the right times in games to keep your team in the game and to give them a chance to win. And I think it's, it's no different than the regular season, although, the, you know, the games mean a lot more. It's the same game. It's, uh, the, you know, two teams that have played each other a bunch of times this year, both, you know, in the playoffs for a reason. And uh, it's about, you know, what team's going to play better at this time of the, this time of the year. And, um, it's exciting. It's it's uh, it's something that you know you look forward to as a as a player and as a professional. You want to you know you want to play your best games in at the most important time of the year, and that's playoff hockey. And I'm um, super thrilled to be back in there. So you don't subscribe to the Paul Maurice theory. Yesterday, you said you're who said in the playoffs your most important player is your goalie because he's the only one that plays all 60 minutes. I mean, obviously. Goaltending is a huge aspect of, of why your team will have success. So, um, but saying that, I'm not putting any extra pressure on myself to, you know, to steal games. I'm just going to do what I have done, you know, all season long, and that's just be a real solid player back there for us. And hopefully, that's enough to, uh, you know, to get us where we want to go. Steve Wino, Associated Press. Hey, Mike. Uh, when you get in. When you get in there, you won't even be the oldest goaltender in the playoffs after Craig Anderson got in the other night. I'm curious, did you get a chance to see Craig play the other night? I did. I did, yeah. Well, well what do you think? What did you think of, of a guy like that coming in cold? And, like, this is an organization you're playing for now that had Dwayne Rollison take a team on, on, on a long cup run. What is it? What is the experience and goal of, of being in your late 30s do for a team this time of year? I think playoff hockey is a, a lot about experience. I think it's, uh, you know, you can't – you can't tell a young player what playoffs are like until they've actually witnessed it themselves. So I think it's, uh, it's something that, you know, is unique to a veteran player and a player that's been in the playoffs, you know, a few times over the course of my career. And I think that's one thing that, you know, we have a good mix of, you know, we have a good mix of uh, players that have been through it before and have won and players that have gone deep in the playoffs multiple times and can bring that experience to help the younger guys that maybe not haven't had the, uh, you know, that same experience in their career. So, 
I think it's uh, it's something as a veteran player that you want to kind of rub off on on young players and and uh, really take advantage of these games and and uh, you know hopefully it won't take long for the players that haven't been around to to understand if you just even watched the games yesterday how much different playoff hockey is compared to the regular season. So that's what it's all about, and I think our group's excited about being here. Rob Kuchkowski, Post Media. Hey, Mike, uh, you guys were 7-2 and two against the Jets this year and won six straight against them. What, what does that mean in terms of how you feel as a team going into this series? Is that, it has to count for something. Yeah, I mean, yes and no, I guess. I think we've had success, but we've, they're a good team. They're a good team, and I think a lot of the games were close throughout the course of the season. So, um, you know, to be honest, what's done is done. And uh, the playoffs are just a new, new season altogether, a new animal. So... I think it's uh, whatever we've done throughout the regular season is over. Obviously, we carry some confidence into the playoffs, knowing that we can, you know, we can beat anyone in the North Division, and and uh, hopefully that shows come game one. Is that maybe the more important element that you guys came into the playoffs running hot? You made a concerted effort down the stretch to 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 be that team, then to, to you know to be strong down the stretch. Is that uh, really maybe have a greater impact on your on your feelings going into the series? Just how you finish the regular season. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's something that we talked about, you know, last three weeks of the season as we wanted to be playing some of our best hockey that we've played all season long going into the, the most important games. And I feel like we've we've done that even though the circumstances are, you know, get difficult later on in the season when games don't matter as much. But it's just something we've kind of drilled home every single game and, and into practices that we want to be buzzing, we want to be humming on all cylinders here going into the, to game one of the playoffs. And I feel like our group's in a real good spot to uh, to do some damage. Jack Michael, 6.30, Chad. Mike, your group was a very good team last year. Uh, and I'm just curious what you've seen in front of you, both on the ice and then in the locker room. What, where's been the biggest area of improvement if you could, if you could kind of narrow that down for me in terms of that next step that this team feels it's taken, what are some pieces to that step? I guess is what I'm asking. Um, a maturity amongst the group. I think there's been uh, there's been pl some players in our locker room take huge steps not only on the ice but off the ice as, as a as a leadership group. Um, I think I think we talked about it all season long. This group just found ways to win games all year and. That's what you have to do in playoffs, and I think that's a that's a huge confidence builder for our team. Is is we were down in games this year and came back. We were we played in tight games where you know every play mattered and and found ways to win those games. And that's exactly how it's going to be, you know, come Wednesday. So I think um, you know, no, I know talking to players here in the past that we 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 won some games this year that in the past that it didn't happen. So I definitely feel there's a confidence amongst our group that we can beat any team and we can play in close games and we can, you know, be down and come back and we have the firepower to do that. So I think it's, uh, it's an exciting time of year and um, a group that's grown a lot in the, in the last two years that I've been here and you can feel, a, you know, a sense of urgency and a sense of excitement going into Wednesday and hopefully it all comes together for us. And to elaborate on that last point, Adam Larson said something similar a couple weeks ago. He was kind of on a stream of consciousness and he just said, I don't know what it is, but there's a feeling in the room right now. Uh, and he stopped short of saying, well, we could do something special. He didn't get into grandiose predictions, but can you elaborate on that feeling that maybe he's having? Cause I get the sense you feel the same way. Yeah. I mean, I, I just think this, this team's in a different spot than we were even a year ago. So I think it's, it's, uh, but saying that, you know, it's, it's playoff hockey, you know, Winnipeg's a great team. Um, they're not in the playoffs by accident. So it's, it's going to be a dog fight and anything can happen. So I think as much as you want to say, yeah, we have something special. That's true. That's true. I really feel like our team has, has taken next steps in, uh, in really improving. Um, but in the regular season, we had a goal to make the playoffs and now it's the playoffs and, it's a, you know, it's a new season and we have to elevate our game. You know, it's, it's one thing to just get in the playoffs and now it's about taking your game to the next level and, 
and you know being able to uh, to harness the emotions and to play a real discipline style game against a real good hockey team and and it's going to be a close series so you got to be in for the long haul and um, you know but saying that we're we're an excited group we're we're a motivated group that wants to uh, not just tiptoe in here and and say well we need the playoffs and we'll we'll have another chance at it next year we want to make some damage right now. Jason Gregor, TSN 1260. Mike, is, from an outsider, you watch the playoff games, and there, you know there's way more bodies in front of the net. There, there, it's more of a physical game than the regular season, no question. From from your perspective, does it change with that added, you know, battle level in front of the net? You know, everybody seems to funnel pucks there. Do you, do you change at all? How do you adapt as a goalie? It's not like you're running guys, but if everybody's around more, like you just. You know, what do you do as a goalie to adapt to that? And is it noticeably a difference, you know, in, with screens and, and not seeing as many pucks as maybe you would in a regular season? I mean, yes and no. It's not a different game. It's, it's still a hockey game. But obviously, um, the level of motion, the level of intensity rises to a, a level that you haven't seen all season long. So I think um, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be people in, in the paint. There's going to be bumps and knocks along the way and you got to keep your composure as much as possible and you know battle to find pucks and I mean it's no different than what I've done all season long so I think it's just going to be you know a little bit elevated as far as the uh, competitive aspect of it is um, but same same as far as I'm concerned. And in a normal playoff year, you know, usually they start on a Wednesday and your team either plays Wednesday or the Thursday, the odd time, the Friday. You're getting like four days to watch the playoffs. You mentioned earlier you watch Craig Anderson. Do you watch a lot of them? Does it get you more excited? Uh, how different, if any, is it going to be, you know, having to wait a little bit longer to jump into the playoff fray? I mean, watching those two games yesterday, I don't think you can you cannot get excited. I think, like I said, a playoff, playoff hockey is a different animal. And uh, you play a lot of games to get to this point, so you want to take advantage of of every game you can. And and I think just just watching those games yesterday, I think you just get your your juices flowing a little bit more. And once you do, uh, you know, you want to get started as soon as possible. Obviously, we don't play till Wednesday, so there's some some practice time here to get ready. But um, there's nothing like playoff hockey, and I'm a fan of it. You know, I was, I couldn't help but be a fan of that Tampa Florida game yesterday. It was. Uh, I think it was one of the best hockey games I've ever watched on TV, that's for sure. So I think uh, it, I can't help but, you know, get kind of invested in that. And as a, as a fan, not only a player, but you just get excited about this opportunity and you want to play your best hockey at this time of the year and can't wait for Wednesday. Last two questions, Paul Gazzola and then Daniel Andrew Bowman. Go ahead, Paul. Hey, Mike, uh, obviously yourself and a lot of the Oilers had uh, some great seasons this year, um, but Connor just took it to another level. Uh, what's the sense you're getting from uh, the captain leading into playoffs? Yeah, just a player that's very motivated. I think not only personally for his own game, but um, as a captain of our group, as a as our leader, I think he's just, you know, he's taken strides this year that, that are you know super impressive. Obviously, everyone knows what he did on the scoreboard, but the maturity this kid brings every single day, and and how much he he wants to be an impact for this group is you know says a lot about him and what he's given to this organization. So obviously, it's uh, you know tremendous to be able to play on a team with a guy like that. And uh, I, I'm I know for a fact he's not he's not settling just for his success he had in the the regular season. This is a very motivated player that wants to be an impact player in the in the playoffs, and I'm sure we'll see him if it's possible. Take it to another level, you know, come Wednesday too. Daniel Ninja Bowman, the Athletic. Hi, Mike. Uh, Darnell Nurse has had a tremendous year, pretty much wire to wire. What's the biggest area that you've seen him kind of take the next step uh, in in front of you this season? Oh, well, obviously he's contributing offensively, and I think that's something that um, he's worked on and, and he's put in the time to really improve his craft. And I think it's uh, it's special to see a player like that, a guy that works so hard as, as he does on and off the ice that, uh, you know, gets rewarded for it. And, you know, he's a horse for us back there. 
you know, he plays in all aspects of the game. He kills penalties on the power play, and he plays, you know, huge five-on-five five minutes against some of the other team's best players. So I think he's really found a, you know, found a, a niche spot in the, in the lineup for him where he's a huge part of our team's success and a huge part of our, our decor. And he's pl played real important minutes for us. He's always on the ice in the last minute of the games. He's always, like I said, he's in good position most of the game and really brings, uh, you know, he brings everything he has every single time he's on the ice. So it's a credit to, to Nursey as a person and as a player that he's really, you know, taken strides and been a big reason why our team's, you know, had so much success this year.